today I was doing a little work with my tarps. Uh, I wanted to go through my tarps and kind of change out some of the suspension for them. And uh, got a trip planning to do a little bit of camping next weekend. Uh, it'll be car camping, but uh, I'm still going to use my hammocks. Hammock, but uh, wanted to been wanting to redo some of the stuff on my tarps for a while. So I figured today's a good day. It's kind of kind of cloudy and rainy. Uh, so figured I'd spend a little time messing with my tarps. So what I'd been using, this is a, this is my Argon seal tarp that I made last year. Um, and I had been using a non-continuous ridge line with these, uh, these, uh, I can't remember what you call them, but they're some of Dutch's tarp clip deals with the kind of the tarp fly built into one end and the beaner on the other. Uh, I had those connected to each end of the tarp and then a, a piece of, of a zingit, I think, that ran from those to the, to the tree. I had one on each end, so I wasn't running a continuous ridge line. But I just never did like that. So, I don't know, I just couldn't get used to it. A lot of, I know a lot of people use them and like it and that, that works well. But I just prefer a continuous uh, ridge line. That's just, I don't know, I just like that better. So that's what I've gone back to, and I'm gonna re, re uh, string my other tarp the same way. I've, I've got a setup on it right now that's a non-continuous ridge, ridge line, so I'm gonna change it too. But what I did uh, for now is I've got, I went ahead and reused these Dutch tarp beaner thingies, whatever they're called. I'll, I'll look up and note what they're called, but I went ahead and reused those just for the, for the clip here and I've got a piece of shot cord from there to the end of the tarp uh, a little piece of mason's line prussic onto some zingit there and then a dutch hook there for this end uh, I don't know if I'm going to leave this little piece of uh, continuous loop here I put that on there just in case the the bungee failed I, this is the first time I really use bungees but I've seen some other people use bungees on the end of their tarps here just to give it a little more cushion. Uh, this is argon. It's pretty thin. Uh, I haven't had any problems with it uh, stressing it in rain and wind and stuff, but I just figured I'd give these little pieces of bungee on there to see if that would help. So, But I put this on there as a safety just in case the bungee went or came in tight or whatever. At least my tarp wouldn't go flying. I may or may not leave those on there, but that's on there for now. Uh, on the other end, I have the same basic setup uh, here, the bungees, and then a piece of continuous uh, loop there for a safety. I might end up taking that off. Um, here, this is, I think these are called the tarp keys, I think is what they were called. I bought these several years ago, and they work pretty good. I've got a tarp fly somewhere that I may end up swapping out it's a little bit quicker to put up the tarp fly is but these work fine and they're adjustable and they seem to hold I've used them before and it seems to work fine on this tarp is the one I did the pole or the pull outs on in the pole setup um, this is uh, some some old carbon arrows that I joined together there in the center uh, with just some some of the inserts they just screw together right there they come apart in the middle and then the ends are I just left the knocks on there and I hook them on these continuous loops uh, they work pretty good don't have any problems with them I may come up with a different way to connect the ends these are it's kind of a pain to to notch that in and keep it in place when you go to the other end and hold the pole in place and it's not the easiest thing to put on there but but it, it's doable the pullouts are just glued on with seal nylon, seal net. Uh, they've held up okay so far. You know, I've heard several people say that they won't last and they'll eventually pull off probably, but uh, so far they've held up. You know, if they pull off, I'll I'll take them off. I mean, there's no holes punctured in the tarp at this point, so if they pull off, I'll pull them off, clean it up, and probably just sew some on there. But for my first try. I went with gluing them all. Okay, so, so this is the inside that's the setup now of the tarp. I've just got a regular gathered in hammock that 
I made in here now. Uh, typically, I'd be using my war bonnet uh, when I'm out camping, but for out here in the backyard, this is fine for now, even though the mosquitoes are pretty rough right now. But uh, you can see how roomy it is in here with the poles. It really opens it up. I don't know how well you can tell, but hopefully you can. You can see just how roomy it is in here with the uh, poles. This is the, the black so far, like uh, Argon tarp that I made. Did not do the pullouts on this one. Um, so I've changed out the ridge line on it. I had it set up with a similar non-continuous ridge line, but went back to a, a ridge fixed, uh, I mean a continuous ridge line. This one is uh, Lash It, the gray Lash It. I think it's a 2.2 size. Uh, did the same thing here with the shock cords. I didn't put the safety catch on this one. Uh, like I said, I don't know that I'll need that, but you know, I don't want this to give away during a heavy rain and then my tarp go flying. I'd rather have another, maybe another piece of continuous loop there just to catch it. So I may put that on there. You know, if you, anybody who's used the shot cord as a tarp connection point, let me know what you think. Uh, if you've used them in heavier rain, this is the heavier shot cord, so it's the thicker stuff. I don't know the size, maybe eighth. But uh, if you think that'll hold up fine without any kind of safety there, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, this one, for this end of the ridge line, I've got a, it's called the, uh, I got these, I think I got them on a, either on a, uh, I can't remember where I got them, but they're called Loop Aliens, I think. I think I might have picked them up on a, uh, some, I, well, I can't remember now, but I picked them up online. I got two of them, I think. I think I got another one somewhere, and then I got the little tarp key deal on this end. Uh, it holds up good. I've got this one set up in porch mode. So uh, i got my trekking poles on the ends on this side, so it gives a little room. Okay, so real quick, this one is uh, about 10.8 inches, roughly, the ridge line, and about uh, nine and a half feet, 10.8 feet, sorry, 10.8 feet, the ridge line, and about nine and a half feet from one side to the other. Okay, this is my third tarp that I've got uh, right now. This is a sealed nylon tarp that I did a couple three years ago probably originally it was pretty big it was about 12 by 10 maybe even a little bigger and I had a wild idea that I didn't like the corners the way I had done the reinforcements in the corners I didn't care much for it was real bulky so I decided that I was gonna try to uh, trim it down some and make it a little smaller and, and redo these corners and the ridge line reinforcements. So I did that, trimmed it down. It ends up being pretty small now. It's about 10 and a half by eight. So by far it's the smallest tarp that I've got, but I decided to, to go ahead and hang it over my Blackbird, uh, the XLC, uh, and let you see, cause that's the largest hammock I have. And as you can see, even as small as the tarp is, I mean, it still gives me about six inches, roughly, on the ends. So, why well, it's probably not going to be the best tarp for a real heavy rain. Uh, it, it'll it'll keep me dry in a in a rain shower. So, uh, I'm going to set the camera down and let you see what it looks like from this angle, and I'm going to get in the hammock and. Let you see what kind of coverage I got. As you can see, this is the uh, coverage that I've got in my Blackbird. Like I said, this is the smallest tarp I've got. Even with it, it's a ten and a half by eight. I mean, I've still got, you know, I can't reach the edge of the tarp, so I've got some room there. The back I've got down pretty tight, so I'm sure I could uh, move that up uh, out a little further if I wanted. I don't have any pullouts on this tarp, so. Uh, you know, if I'm going to run it down, not in, it's in porch mode now, I brought it down, that would keep some of the rain from blowing in. So it's not, it's not terribly too small, but it's smaller than probably you want in a heavy rain or, or in the winter. The weather, weather's not as much as the weather. So that's it. 
it. That's my, this is my Blackbird XLC.